If you're like me, you feel a little different to everybody else. It's not that you're weird, you just see the world with a unique mindset. Rather than fitting into a stereotypical box and operating like a robot, you instead have a high sensitivity to other people's emotions and your own. Your intuition guides your goals and actions, and you have a huge heart that sometimes gives too much. I don't know about you, but I've always thought that I was weird for being like this. But then I learned about a personality type called empath, and I realized that these unique traits were actually skills. If you don't know, the trademark of an empath is filtering the world through their intuition and feeling and absorbing other people's emotions because of their high sensitivities. So if you think you might relate, here are eight things you probably identify with. Number one, you're highly sensitive. Yep, whether it's watching a movie or the news, your body and emotions react intensely to what's going on. When you see pain on others, it cuts you deep. Unfortunately, people complain that you're too sensitive and need to toughen up, but they don't understand what you're going through. This is one of the reasons you avoid the news. The constant negativity really gets to you. Empaths are like sponges who absorb the thoughts, feelings, and sensations around them, according to psychotherapist Lisa Hutchison. If you were talking to someone who is depressed, then you may notice you feel down afterwards. But if you think this makes you mentally weak, you're mistaken. If anything, it makes you a better healer and giver to those desperately in need of help. In a world in need of constant repair, people like you are crucial to let the healing begin. Number two, you absorb other people's emotions. You're highly attuned to other people's emotions, good and bad. You feel everything they're feeling almost to an extreme. In one-on-one -on -one conversations, people feel comfortable opening up to you because it feels like they just get you. You may find that you're in sync with some people from time to time, according to spiritual counsellor Davida Rapport-Port. If both of you keep saying things like, we're on the same page, I was thinking or feeling the same thing, or you took the words right out of my mouth, you were definitely connected to the other person. It's rare to have this kind of understanding of others, but you experience it frequently because you're highly empathetic to what they're feeling. In a world that's becoming increasingly divided between right and left and upper class and lower class, you're essential to bridge the gap for mutual understanding. Number three, you're introverted. Your high sensitivity means that big crowds aren't for you because it amplifies your empathy. According to psychotherapist Lisa Hutchison, empaths are easily overstimulated by noise because their focus is often outward rather than inward. You probably prefer deep conversations and meeting people one on one. Learning about others gets your juices flowing. And when you learn about someone else, it makes you feel like you're entering a whole new beautiful and complex world. Psychologist Judith Orloff says that empaths need to be introverted and prefer one-to-one -one contact or small groups. Even if an empath is more extroverted, they may prefer to limit how much time they spend in a crowd or at a party. This makes you an amazing conversationalist because the other person feels like they're the only person on the planet at the time. You also need time alone to recharge as your emotional energy gets sapped in the presence of others. Number four, you're highly intuitive. Those gut feelings you have about others are really wrong. That's why you avoid toxic people who gossip about others. According to Judith Orloff in Psychology Today, empaths experience the world through their intuition. It is important for them to develop their intuition and listen to their gut feelings about people. Number five, you become overwhelmed in intimate relationships. Being so close to someone can be difficult for you. Your emotional love for them can become overbearing to the point that you almost feel like you're losing your identity. As a consequence, too much togetherness can be difficult for an empath, so they may avoid intimate relationships. But at the same time, this makes you an amazing lover as you're always looking out for them. 
you understand what they're going through and you will always support them to reach their goals. Number six, narcissists are attracted to you. Narcissists are drawn to empathetic people because they can feed off their skills of an empath to help them. An empath's sensitivity makes them particularly easy, marks for energy vampires whose fear or rage can sap their energy and peace of mind. Narcissistic people often feel worthless or undervalued in their own lives and seek validation to make themselves feel better. The problem is that their toxicity and constant need of attention can make you feel drained and undervalued. But once you realize that you don't need to save everyone, you can spend more time working on yourself and give from a place of authenticity and genuine interest rather than obligation. Number seven, you become replenished in nature. The busyness of cities and everyday life can become too much for an empath, but it's a natural world that restores you. According to Judith Erloff, the busyness of everyday life can be too much for an empath. The natural world nourishes and restores them. The awe you experience from mountains and oceans makes you realize that there's something much bigger than yourself. It clears your mind and sets your priorities straight. Number eight, you have a huge heart, but sometimes gives too much. You're always trying to heal the pain of others. Whether it's a homeless stranger or a close one that's going through tough times, you're so attuned to what they're going through that you simply must do something to help. Davida Rapoport, a psychic and spiritual counselor, says that if you are highly sensitive and cry easily, especially when someone hurts your feelings, you are definitely an emotional person. But you may also be an empath. This can drain your energy and make it hard to be around those that are suffering. But at the same time, you're the ray of hope that so many people are in need of. As an empath myself, I've found it essential to protect my sensitivities. Whether it's carving our time alone or communicating to your loved ones your needs and wishes, I find that setting boundaries and limits can do your mental health wonders. Being an empath is a gift, but you have to learn to take care of yourself. It's people like you that keep the dream alive for a more caring, humane world.